hello 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 good morning good evening good afternoon whenever you come across this video thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me the weather outside is tricky it's like sunny but it's also like cold you know for me at least it'd be helpful if i took iron like i was supposed to probably you know what i mean <laughs> confirmation i know any hoots <laughs> oh, I love people. I love people. Anywho, okay. Um, because it, no, I'm laughing because the clarista, the word clarista is, 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 is <laughs> becoming a thing. Shelly, I'll always give you all the full credit for that. Um, so anyways, um, because somebody said, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Let's get a message for today. There's another reading that I recorded yesterday, but felt guided not to post it yesterday for whatever reason. And then I was almost guided to like post it now. Um, so we'll see. Um, we'll see if I I'm surely I'll post it. I don't know. Um, the thing is, problem is, is, I don't really remember what it was about, so I wouldn't even know what to call it. So I may have to listen to it before I, um, before I post it. So a little patient on that. Um, I patient, patient, a little patient on that, little patience on that. Um, but you guys are the most patient collective that there ever was. I love you guys so much. I'm so grateful for all of you, all the likes, shares, and subscribes, everyone who's booking and sending in donations and um, tipping the Clarissa and purchasing off of the wish list and just all the things, <laughs> sending things to the P.O. box and everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I received a, um, a gift as well uh, on Friday from another lovely family member. It was a... Um, a, a replacement amethyst uh, necklace, um, but uh, <laughs> Michael kind of he kind of took over that one, so and I'm fine with that. <laughs> but anywho, um, all right, let's see what the message is. What do you need to know? Please, what does the collective need to know? on this beautiful day. Okay, we have pleasure at the bottom of the deck. Delight, embrace, open. Purification, detox, cleanse, liberate. Some of you may be feeling like um, something about fasting or you're being encouraged to fast and it, it could be from a certain thing or um, just in general. Okay, so we have take flight, peace, stability, and perception here. Hmm. Hmm. I like this. I want to get one of these on each one of those to get a little bit more. This purification, I feel like they're telling me that like you are, um, it's like your cells, your DNA is being purified from a previous energy. Okay. Um, again, it's, you know, there, there's so much to this, um, like ascension and changing the frequency and, and they're reminding me of this like part where you're like entering a new era. Right. And so it, it like, it, you know, it's more than just your perception, right? It's also like shifting in your cells and in your DNA. Um, there are things in all of your chakras that are being removed, right? Like there's just, it's like literally, um, so there, so some of you are kind of like, and I think that you're, seeing some shifts and some changes here especially um like possibly within your perception right um let 
Let's see. Let's see. Let's just take flight. Okay, so we have the devotion card, card number 12, which is a number three also. So I'm hearing something could be significant about three years, um, possibly, or um, you could have be working, been working on something for like three years. You could, like, whatever it is, it, it doesn't have to be three years, but it, um, it feels like there's been a lot of like effort put into something, right? You've been really devoted to some sort of energy here. Sorry, my hair is a little itchy island I we <laughs> did a little color in our hair I got a little purples underneath and her hair is so freaking cool she put purple and blue in her hair it's so cool anyways random random conversations but there's something yeah that you've been like devoting yourself to this is about to take flight okay um you know, and I'm really picking up on, I'm seeing like literally like on a, on a graph or something like, like, like ups and downs and something like that, right? There could have been some really inconsistency and in with whatever this is, right? It could be your healing. It could be you creating something. Some of you, it's like this, um, you know, you've been working on art, right? You've been kind of busting out a bunch of like art pieces and putting your work out there and being vulnerable, right? And it, it doesn't have to be art, but it could be something creative, right? Again, it could be your healing journey. It could be, there's something here, but you're about to, um, because you, even through the ups and the downs and the rounds and rounds and things like that, because you continue to stay devoted to whatever this is, it's about to take off, right? Um, they're literally showing me a plane. Okay, so some of you might be like traveling. Somebody else could be traveling to see you, right? Getting on a plane. Um <coughs> What's this peace card? What's this peace card? Look, we have when fairies go bad. Okay. Some of you have had to really kind of, yeah, the source of magic, balancing act, the summer dragon. Um, it is really cold out here. I feel like it's like literally fall. Um, like I kind of want to go to get a blanket. Like I'm freezing. Let me just put this up. We'll go from there. <laughs> Brr! Hold on. Let's take this down. It's a little yucky. See my purple underneath? It's hard to see against the black, but just a little, a little bit under there. Um, felt a little crazy. So there's this energy around, you know, uh, with this, when fairies go bad here, it's like this, um, you know, people possibly like trying to interrupt, right? Trying to, I don't know. This could also be you, right? Um, in, in a time in your life where possibly you shifted, changed, right? Um, and what I really feel like is not that you went bad, right? It's that you experienced trauma. <laughs> you experienced trauma. And so then your brain kind of locked into that part of your life, right? And there was like this open stress response, right? That could never complete itself because you never got closure from whatever that was, okay? I feel like you're gaining peace around this okay and that could be I feel like there that could have been part of that other message I don't remember but um, yeah this is card number 10 so there's this energy in which um, it's like you're boarding the plane right now collective okay um, like you're 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 that's what it like literally or somebody is boarding a plane while they're watching this like I literally feel like I'm I'm like <laughs> I've gone from being in the airport to um you know waiting in that little right and then you know handing the ticket and going through the long thing and then like getting on the plane it feels like you're boarding a plane right now okay um 
but the thing is, is it's like it, before you could board on. Yeah, now they're telling me something about luggage, right? Like, I don't know. You're only taking a carry on. on. You're only you're traveling lightly. Somebody's traveling lightly here. Okay. Um, I have a feeling here, okay, that by by the summertime, there's something about like not recognizing yourself or um, your life or something like that here. But there's also this energy too with these people. Right, there could have been, I always say it's like three people. It always feels like there's up to three energies here that are trying to mess with you, collective. Okay? Um, you're releasing some type of resentment around that. Okay? And I know a lot of you have really been, it, it's almost this energy of like understanding and knowing that you're like ultimately not affected by that. You know what I mean? Like, um, and that if you are, it's to serve you. Right? There's some sort of service here okay um like that's being like it's it's helping you gain peace or heal here okay you're also um some of you have really been kind of I don't want to say like searching for an answer but it makes me feel like there could have been like a ringleader you know what I mean? And there's, it's like trying to find the, the ringleader. There's something about, um, rather than like, like I'm thinking about like a, a nest and I'm hearing like a hornet's nest. Okay. Um, it's, it, there's something about how you've been kind of like killing the hornets like individually, but the, but the, but, and you're like coming up and you're like searching, you've been searching for the nest, right? Where are these fuckers coming from, right? <laughs> because if you want to get rid of them, you need to get rid of the nest. There's something about discovering um, where the nest is. Yeah. And, and being able to go ahead and just like, uh, like, you know get rid of that like I'm seeing somebody like spray it right it, obviously like with a lot of anger too like you know mother no I'm joking <laughs> that would be me though <laughs> like to a real hornet's nest in my house like you're not welcome here <laughs> no we can all coexist but in my house that scares my my kiddos nobody can scare my kiddos but me because I am always joking. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's keep going. What's the stability? Yeah, we have the shaman. Magnolia. Yeah, you're attracting this stability. Okay? You're attracting it. Um, I don't know what that noise was. But you're also very divinely led here. Yeah, man. Somebody was somebody was like wishing something towards you in the winter time. Okay? But there's, there's an angel or a fairy or an ancestor or something that protects your house. Maybe even up to two here. Hmm. What's this perception? But regardless of this, I feel like you're like releasing any type of... Um, like anger or resentment 
um, for whoever this may be, right? Releasing, getting rid of the, um, yeah, we have the fairies and we have the human myth here. Perception clarified by something wild. Water element. Hmm. Like the devil. You're cutting some sort of cord here, yeah, with the ace of swords. There's like this energy of um you know what, and this reminds me of like I was thinking about this on, on my walk earlier with um the mousters, okay, and Michael J our morning walk. Um and there was this instance where there was like a loose dog that was like running up on us behind us but right in the nick of time the owner of that dog pulled up and you know what I mean and and grabbed the dog and put it in its vehicle right but Maui saw it so there was like the this energy but I froze right where like Maui and Michael and I should have kept walking you know what I mean but I froze and so that's this type of energy and I after that it was kind of like um, so some of you if you're like if you are experiencing like high cortisol it may um, cause you to freeze right um, cortisol is like this stress um, chemical right um, in your in you and so there's this energy of these people trying to cause that within you here yeah nine of wands um trying to cause that within you here so that um you will freeze right or do what they uh you know what i'm saying it's like having this so they could be like projecting some type of stressful situations or projecting something here um to prevent you from reaching some sort of peace right to keep you in some sort of despair here um, and they do this through, like, notice the chariot, like, is a mouth. Okay. Um, the way that you speak, though, I, I, I'll have you know, the divine, it wants you to know that people are realizing the way that you speak is very balanced. Okay. Um, Yeah. Okay. Tell me more. What else does it collective need to know? The Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Swords. This is very similar, I think, to the last, to what I picked up on. Tell me more about this. How does this apply? Because the Four of Swords is uh, putting something to rest. It's also uh, giving something to your angels, right? It's, it's like the Hermit and the Minor Arcana. Um, there's also something about keeping something to yourself or even keeping to yourself here okay um tell me more about this wheel of fortune quarter swords
Alright, it puts this thing on. There's a high pitch ringing in my right ear. This is like you, you didn't take action on something. Mm -mm. You didn't take action on something. It's like you learned a lesson here. And so you didn't take some sort of action. And it's like releasing, you know, I always see this lover's card in this deck as like um, somebody that, you know, this black heart is attached to this chain, right? Stable, solid, you know, has something to hang on to. But it's this white heart that actually seems to be the same vibration as what these would look like to me as like flames, right? It's a reflection of that. And it's this energy of like, I feel like, you know, because this white heart isn't attached to this chain, okay? And it, it could be like dragging this this other heart down this, you know what I mean? Like that, and that's what I feel like every time I see this lover's card, um, you know, and take it as it resonates. But I feel like it's like you have released, yeah, because I almost feel this energy in which somebody is like, Somebody could be like a cigarette smoker or um, a smoker in general. I don't know. You or somebody else. Huh. What does the collective need to know about this? There's, a, there's somebody that's trying to make a decision here. Don't go the cards away. No, no. <laughs> I feel like there's somebody that's trying to make a decision and there's somebody else that's trying to like interfere or like intervene. Um, and there's also like it could up to be up to three people that have been trying to do that, right? Past, present, future energy. I don't know. Like there could be people working together. People that might really surprise you, right? That you wouldn't expect to be working together here. It's like they're trying to convince somebody here of something. 
But whoever this is, I feel like they see otherwise, right? It's like, I don't know. It, I feel like it's like if somebody um, had some sort of assistant for a really long time, you know what I mean? And just like really trusted this assistant and that assistant kind of took advantage of that, right? And it's kind of um, like use that trust to their advantage. Somebody's been using trust either your trust in somebody or somebody else's trust in them to their advantage. We have the moon card here. There's a lot of cards out here. Hmm. I wish I had another deck, but I'm gonna but I don't. So what is the what does the collector need to know about this? I just heard very clearly somebody thought that they buried you. They thought that they buried you. Yeah, but, and then I'm drawn to this something wild card here, right? It does look like she just <laughs> came from being unburied here. Hey, Bob, what's up? How can I help you? Can I help you? Go ahead. Okay, I will, absolutely when I'm finished, okay? Okay. All right. put all their eggs in one basket here like I said somebody thought that you were buried like they had really really oh, thank you son come on out come on out I almost want to put the umbrella down so I can just be directly in the sun but um Yeah, somebody, like, they really did. They thought they're, and this is interesting because I remember the other day, I don't know which reading this was on, but I picked up on an energy of somebody reaching some sort of deadline here. Or there is a deadline, right? Needing to accomplish something before some sort of deadline. What's this Eight of Cups? Yeah. And you, it, there's this energy of like you you've peeped something, you've figured something out, you've gotten some sort of like, there's been some sort of divine intervention, there's been, I don't know, there's something here, um,
man, what's so crazy is I just, I, I literally feel like Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Future. Yeah. Something about, like, just holding on. There's some, like, um, something's coming in quickly. Something that you don't see here. Okay, there's a decision that's being made that possibly you don't see here. But it, it's because of a decision that you've made. I'm telling you, there's up to ten people who have been, like, on your back, but single-handedly you have destroyed these swords, right? Mostly because it's like, um, what I'm picking up on is, it's like they can't, it's like when a balloon gets so high up in the atmosphere, right? It pops. It can't survive. The, the pressure, the, um, the, um, you know, the atmosphere itself, like the, the frequency, all of that, it changes, right? Well, frequency, I don't think has anything to do with the balloon, but I think it has everything to do with this, right? It's like you have reached a point where they can't survive in this environment. Yeah. And so where where one person has put all their eggs in a basket here, right? I feel like they're being guided to, I don't know, quit. I heard quit while they're ahead. Excuse me. This is what's happening. There's been a big shift here, okay? There's been a big shift in the energy. A, her a hornet. There's a fucking hornet. <laughs> On the hermit guard. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, this person has been behind the scenes. Okay, but they're also pulling back their energy here, okay? They tried to, uh, like, uh, bind you here, okay? Somebody attempted to maybe, like, um, bind your finances with their finances or something like that and tried to get in the view of who you are. This, this Queen of Wands energy is showing up, right? Get in the view of how you feel about yourself, how you view yourself, um, how much you love yourself and things like that. Yeah. Tower card, what's his tower? Yep. Look, somebody could have even been paying somebody to work on creating this Nine of Swords for you. Okay, but you, you, we have the Ace of Swords here. Oh, yeah. Yes, if so, this is somebody who's keeping something from you or wanting to keep you so caught up, right? Wanting to keep you so, I don't know, there's, um, Mm -hmm. But there's somebody, look, this Four of Swords is really giving me like um, ancestors, passed over loved ones type of energy that are like defending you. Also, I'm feeling like this reminds me of on the strength card, there's a lion um, and it has this on its third eye. You're communicating. There's these angels, right? Four of Swords is angels also. These angels. Oh. <laughs> 
here, sorry, <laughs> um, that are communicating with you here through your third eye um, to help you see the truth through this nine of swords, right? It's almost like this energy of like, um, you know, somebody put these over you, hanging these over you so that you can never stand all the way up right? But there's this energy, you know your truth, you know the truth, you're seeing the truth. Queen of Swords. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, this could be a mother figure, a grandmother figure, something like that, that's trying to keep something from you or trying to keep you distracted. It's like trying to, it's like, there, there's somebody that possibly even knows your ability to tap into the other side here, or they've seen it, or something like that. And so they've literally paid people. Yikes. For some of you, even with your own money. And I heard very specifically that will reap like double the karma. Yeah. But it, justice is coming in very quickly here. As I say that, the justice card has come out. Just came right out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what was done in the dark is, is being seen in the light here mm -hmm. interesting What's the outcome for the collective, please? What's the outcome of the situation? There's that strength card. Yeah, we have the, the high priestess. Again, you're very intuitive. You're very intuitive, and I think that's why. I, I, honestly, I feel like there's possibly people who have known about your intuition or your ability to speak to or see um, across the veil, right? Since you were younger, right? And so there has been a lot of money that's spent or um, things that have gone out to, in order to keep you um, in a Nine of Swords energy because there's something that's yours that you haven't received or that you are going to receive and there's something and you've been yeah you've been healing and having strength and and seeing things uh, here Yeah, you've been nurturing this Three of Swords energy, right? Like I'm telling you, up to three people were trying to, to, to keep you. But they're chained. See? They're chained. And so it's like if they can keep you down here, right? But once you get up so high, they're chained. They can't. They can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Intuitively, you know there's a decision that's being made, though. Mm
Yeah. Okay, so this is what I have for you. Thought, listen, listen, listen to your intuition. Okay, right now, because you are on point. There's, there is a decision that's being made, and I don't know what this is in regarding, but somebody thought that they buried you, and they didn't. Okay, you, you have look nine of pentacles here, page of wands. Somebody's watching you in this energy, present moment, literally watching you, maybe right as we speak, um, casting some sort of judgment possibly, where there's some sort of judgment call that's being made, okay? Um, there's somebody else that's feeling burdened by this, okay? Because again, like I said, they thought that they had buried you, but there are some angels here. I don't know. I feel like you've got some people kind of in awe um, of your ability to grow through the darkness yeah so there's some sort of celebration here coming okay divine justice this is what i'm telling you somebody mm -hmm. stay focused okay listen to your intuition there's probably going to be a lot like i i really feel like there's either been somebody that's like been paying people to try to cause some distractions or come through and just you know get into your head a little bit right or to um attach to your energy or something here okay so just stay focused i feel like honestly you've been releasing a lot of this and i feel like recently you've made a decision that also helps this right um why am i that looks ashy as hail look at that i don't know if you can see it but <laughs> What? Anyways, uh, my skin's dry. <laughs> Lovely. Um, but yeah, this is what's going on, collective. Okay, so eye on the prize. Stay focused. Continue moving forward and listen to your intuition. You are on point. And I also feel like your angels are bringing you other speaking through others right doing like something like that here okay in order to bring this into fruition something that is meant to be yours is going to be yours and i'm hearing very specifically the time is now so whenever you come across this video probably okay okay i love you so much i hope this is helpful we'll see you next time